uh, coming up next, we have our good buddies, Kyle and Angela Hove from Brewing America. And while they're sliding in here, I'll tell you a little bit about them. Uh, I was in need of a new hydrometer a while back, and I'm looking around on Facebook, and suddenly uh, an ad pops up for Brewing America, and it says that they have these test jars that only take four ounces. And it's like, wow, that's half the amount of beer that I'm using to take samples with. That alone is going to make it worth it. So I ordered one, and it's just a brilliant piece of equipment. They have them packaged well. And uh, I mentioned that I was really looking for a hydrometer with a built-in thermometer. And what do you know? They made me one. And now you guys can get them too. The thermo hydrometers, they are really, really cool. So uh, get right up there on those microphones, guys. Hello, Kyle and Angela. Great to have you here. Hi, thank you. Hi. Thanks for having us. Hi. And one of the other things we really like about them is that they are a small family business. They're both veterans, and they live out in eastern Oregon. And that's the kind of people that we love to support. So uh, oh, don't break it. <laughs> so how did you guys decide to start doing this? I broke one. <laughs> that's how it started. <laughs> Essentially, I broke a favorite one, and it broke in the sink in the middle of the night. And I hear, gosh darn it, and I hear, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine, you know, and so I ordered a whole bunch of them, and they all were not what I wanted. Right. And so I, I went on this great, this great quest of ours to manufacture a better one, and this is our uh, next iteration here. Wow. It's, it's great, man. And what I really love is, like, your packaging, and all of their hydrometer kits come with a cleaning brush for the tube and a, a nice little cloth to wipe off the hydrometer. Uh, they, are, they are really, really hip. And, uh, and let me tell you that Kyle and Angela are great on customer service because uh, right after I got mine, I emailed them, got an instant reply. We started a great dialogue. And, you know, we're really, really happy to have them as sponsors on the show. Now. So what, what else are you guys working on? We have a new triple scale that's coming out. Yeah. And it's going to be pro series. So you'll see in this one, it's, it's stronger material. Right. The neck is reinforced. The base is reinforced. And it's overall, you can visually see your reading much better than a color band design. And I had a hard time reading them. I, right. mean, I was taking my cell phone, taking a picture of it, bringing it back, <laughs> blowing it up. I think it's this. And this is what we came up with. Yeah, here, pass that around so you guys can take a look at it. Yeah. Cool. Well, and, and I, I, again, being the cheap sort of homebrewers that we are and, and hating the waste, <laughs> the fact that the, the test tube jar here only takes four ounces is a real big bonus. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. And, I mean, it's, it's, everything you make is so heavy-duty and, and well-made. You know, that's what really impresses me is the, the quality of them. Uh, I have three refractometers, and they all stay in the drawers because neither one agrees with each other right. or, or with my hydrometer, you know. And these things are just dead accurate, like when I tested them, and, and really, really well made. So if people want to buy some of your stuff, how do they do that? Well, we have our website, brewingamerica.com. Right. They can also find us on Amazon. Okay, cool. Great. And, and you make a, a hydrometer for distilling also? We do. We do released our distilling kit. Cool. So again, same uh, pour silicate last year. Right. And uh, proof and trail hydrometer. Right. Zero to 200. <laughs> yeah. So if you, if for instance, you have one of these uh, grandfather still attachments or the brew and mash still attachment or the Pico still, and you needed to test the fuel alcohol that you were making uh, here in the U.S., yeah. <laughs> uh, then you'd be able to actually measure just ex exactly how efficient your process is. Or it could be used in mixology as well. Like, for instance, if you want to blend a fruit or anything, you want to know how much sugar you're adding to your vodka. Oh, wow. And there's, there's other uses that are very helpful. There we yeah. go. We get into the barrel aging and you get some of that yeah. dissipation. Right. Um, that is, that is so cool. Yep. Great, great. Well, thank you guys so much for being with us here today. Best of luck to you. I know it's a new business. Uh, oh. Oh, something to say? I was going to say for your listeners, through July 4th, we're right. offering 20% off. Oh. So if they go to Amazon.com and type in 20 off kits, 20 O F F K I T S, you'll get 20% off your kits. On any of our products. Wow. Yeah. Wow, so there you go. Uh, check out Brewing America on Amazon.com, enter 20 off, and get yourself the best hydrometer you'll ever have, I guarantee you. Awesome. So. 
Thank you, guys. Yep, thank, thank you. For you. See you later. Thank you. All right, I think it's time for a, a brief break. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break here, <laughs> and when we come back, we're going to have Jeremy Jalibert, the Oregon Homebrew of the Year. We're going to have some guys from Brewcraft telling you what's going on with their stuff and all kinds of other fun stuff, so stick around.